This concealed carry law does not mean a change in how or where you can carry that gun. Good to have you with us here at 530. I'm 10 Tampa Bay. Josh Lawrence. And I'm Courtney Robinson. Great to see you. In just a few days, a new law will take effect allowing Floridians to carry concealed guns without a permit and without training. So what impact will it have and what should you know? 10 Tampa Bay's Aaron Parsegian lays out the facts. As far as the laws on buying guns at stores like this one or where you can bring them, those don't change at all. What this does get rid of is the need for a permit and the training that comes with getting one. On July 1, Florida will join more than two dozen other states in allowing permitless concealed carry. Governor DeSantis signed the bill into law last April saying it strengthens Floridian Second Amendment rights. The criteria to carry a concealed firearm is the same to be eligible for a permit including be a U.S. citizen that is at least 21 years of age with no felony convictions. Private businesses and property owners can still prohibit them, and guns will still not be allowed at bars, courthouses, schools, or sporting events. Even though it's permitless carry, the same places that were off limits before are off limits on July 1st. At Tampa International Airport Tuesday, a reminder for gun owners, airports are still a place you can't carry. Uh, our last resort to put something in jail for that, we'd rather that you understand the laws uh, as a written and abide by them. That was part of getting your concealed carry permit in Florida. Those teachings and training no longer required. No training is, is good enough. Brian Anderson Needham is a Marine veteran and co-owner of Weapon Brand, a local business which trains people on gun handling and self-defense, among other things. I've been handling a firearm for 20 to 25 years, uh, actually even close to 30, and uh, I can still tell you I need more training for that. And Brian is urging more people to seek out training, even if it's not legally required. Not just the legalities, know where you can carry it, when you can carry it, but actually how are you handling that firearm, where are you storing it, uh, how are you able to get to that firearm in a case of crisis, so uh, a lot of things go into that. And after the law changes, permits will still be available for folks that want to carry concealed in other states where Florida has reciprocity. In Pinellas County, Aaron Parsegian, 10